This is Twit. Okay, a little bit of interesting fun. Microsoft Edge is maybe going to be getting something that they actually call Super Duper Secure Mode. Uh, they realize full well they that this is... They call it Super Duper Secure Mode? Yes. It's hysterical. They are actually calling it Super Duper Secure Mode. Mode. If you Google Super Duper Secure Mode, you'll find... Microsoft. Uh, they're not calling it that because all the serious names were taken. They realize full well it's a humorous name. And then they mentioned that, you know, if it ends up taking hold, maybe we're going to have to call it something else. Maybe not. Who knows? Okay. So here's the $64,000 question. It's Microsoft's experimental edge browser, super duper secure mode asks. Would you be willing to sacrifice some web browser performance? Maybe, and maybe not, but maybe some, in return for potentially significantly greater security. Yes, that seems I, fair. I think that they're on to something here. Uh, and this is really interesting. Based upon an analysis, and you can scroll ahead in, in the notes, Leo, for a couple charts if you want to. Based upon an analysis of all Chrome and Chromium browser CVEs issued since 2019, 45% of the vulnerabilities appearing in the Chromium projects, 48 45% of the vulnerabilities appearing in the Chromium Project's V8 JavaScript and WebAssembly engine are related to its just-in-time component, the JIT engine. And over half of all of Chrome's bugs overall, which were found being exploited in the wild, are abusing JIT bugs. This led Microsoft's Edge vulnerability research team to wonder what the impact would be of just saying no to Chromium's JIT engine. And the result is Edge's new experimental, super-duper secure mode. Jonathan Norman, Microsoft's, Microsoft Edge's vulnerability research team lead, observed that, quote, he said, this reduction of attack surface has potential to significantly improve user security. It would remove roughly half of the V8 bugs that must be fixed. This reduction in attack surface kills half of the bugs we see in exploits. And the bugs it doesn't kill will become more difficult to exploit. To put it another way, he said, we lower costs for users, but increase costs for attackers. And Microsoft acknowledges that this challenges some conventional assumptions held by many in the browser community. Since the JIT engine is a just-in-time compiler implemented to optimize performance, the immediate question that arises is, okay... So more security, but at what cost in performance? That's really the question, he said, for us to answer. Jonathan said that recent tests carried out by the Edge team have shown that despite its pivotal role in speeding up browsers in the early and mid-2010s, and that's the key, JIT no longer appears to be a crucial feature for Edge's performance. You know, it's much like the mistake Microsoft made of moving the, the GUI down into the kernel, which is now causing nightmares for, for performance. Although today, due to the fact that everything is GPU-oriented, that does, does, doesn't need to still be there, but it is. It's really interesting. Google is constantly touting improvements in JavaScript performance in Chrome. Yep. I thought primarily due to JIT, but maybe not. 
It turns out not. JIT Interesting. is Interesting. insanely complex. Yeah, I can and, see and why it's a security pro problem for sure. Yes, it, that you, as we have all, how many times have we said complexity is the enemy of security? It turns out it's so complicated that there are very few people who actually know how it works. I mean, it is just, and I, and in in the post in Microsoft's posting, I I forgot to put a link in the show notes. They have a block diagram, like a flow block diagram, and your eyes cross. It's like what? So, um, I think this represents some very interesting out of the box thinking on Microsoft's part. And it makes sense. Our systems processors have become so much more capable over the past 10 to 15 years that it's reasonable to revisit the question whether our br browsers, uh, which have grown so fast uh, due to the processor performance, uh, whether only an additional modest cost in performance uh, is would be... There it is. Yes. And that's Turbo one fan pipeline. And that's one of the processing pipelines. And notice they had to fold it back on itself because it didn't fit on the page. It, <laughs> it's circular. It, 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 it reverses. It reverses course at one point and goes in the other direction. So what they did was they did a bunch of profiling. And as Microsoft said, uh, in that first diagram, most tests see no changes with JIT disabled. There are a few improvements and a few regressions, but most tests remain the same because processor performance has gotten so good that it covers up the benefit that JIT used to make in 2010. And they said that, I think it began in 2008 was when it started. They said that anecdotally, they found that users running with JIT disabled rarely noticed any difference in their daily browsing behavior or speed. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to put this on, on uh, the radar. It is, you, there is a switch you can turn on to disable JIT in the in the pre-release versions of Edge right now, you know, daily, night, nightly, or whatever is in Canary and so forth. Uh, it's not available in the release. Uh, if it moves to release, I'll let everyone know because uh, I'm sure there are people who are like, hey, I'll try it. And if I don't see anything gets worse, I I'll turn it off. If it, you know, if it cuts in half the, the, the problems... That are being found, and it may be like like the workaround of the moment. If it turns out there's a flaw that's found with JIT on, uh, and it's bad, and Google hasn't patched it yet, but you can turn JIT off, and it's like no longer a problem. Then yeah, that's going to start you know really being a being a win for people. So anyway, I just thought that was you know e extremely cool that they uh, they said hey you know do we still need this. It turns out, uh, maybe not.